Miles Morales is a chill dude. He's the type of guy to cook you breakfast, brush your teeth, or give you a big smooch on the lips. But what if I told you, in one universe, all that kindness went to the shitter, and it created a man who's a loner, moaner, and has no boners. Because we're going to be talking about the sunflower becoming Wolverine, and what if Miles Morales became Wolverine. We start off with a brief flashback of Miles in Atlanta with his very secluded and stressed out family. I swear, an elephant the size of Godzilla, whose trunk is a human leg, will probably not even phase these guys, because they're always stuck in family drama. Like Miles' dad slewing and yelling at Uncle Aaron for going to jail. So Miles takes a stroll and gets picked up by the sketchy white van. Will this be important later in the story? Most likely, but anyways. We're taken straight to some Wolverine action in the future, where we see a sexy looking Miles Morales in his cool suit, and destroying some sentinels, and shredding them like their cheese or the foreskin on your lip. And if you can't tell, Miles actually has four claws and not three. I don't know, but I hope that little detail made your heart flutter and gets rid of your depression. Anyways, on the shield helicarrier, we see two mysterious men spying on Miles. A dude that looks like the Rock from Fortnite, and a silhouette, who ordered the Rock to deal with Miles for being an absolute pain in the poop dispenser. So the Rock comes down to the ground to deck Miles, and decking Miles is exactly what he did because his first attack caused his claws to break like wood and the rock tells him it's because his suit is made of adamantium and follows his claw breaking adventure by snapping the other wrist and breaking the claws like a toothpick and stabs the poor lad thus turning him into a kebab and for this dude's final smash he falcon punches miles and rips his mask off and in doing so the rock realizes that he's been beating up Kilometer morales who's actually his baby boy the rock is miles's father so now you may be wondering what the fuck is going on how is this happening we're going to turbo insano well remember when i told you a white truck picked up miles from the road yeah not only did those people send Miles to a place to conduct experiments on and bring about his mutant abilities, but in the wake of his absence, Miles' dad was trying to find him, which led him down this road of kebabs, snapping wrists, and killing people. But he drove everyone away in the process. Oh, and remember that silhouette who ordered his father to beat up Miles? Yeah, apparently he looks like a rotten avocado thanks to Miles, and he has a grudge against him. The book never explained why, but you're just gonna have to accept the fact that this avocado man hates Miles more than the people who drive through red lights. Anyways, in response to all this, he sends out another geezer to kill Miles. And that man is Uncle Aaron, aka Sabretooth, who's so close to killing Miles until Papa Morales comes through to stop him and gets shredded worse than five paper cuts on the cheek. But while this is happening, Miles is healing, getting his claws back, knocks his furry to the ground, and was on the verge of killing him but didn't because his dad told him to stop. And he spent these last few moments with his dad as he passed away slowly in his arms. So after the fight, he buried his father and walked away but was welcomed by a group of certain people, that being the X-Men. And leading the pack is Genki Lee, aka Professor X, who has a proposition for the young Giga Chad. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe and I'll see you later.